Hello everybody, my name is Obasi Scott, I'm an internet marketer, internet coach. And what I want to do today is I'm just going to take a couple minutes and show you an absolutely killer way, an absolutely dynamic way to market anything you got on Craigslist. I'm going to show you how you can post up to anywhere from 5 to 10 ads a day on Craigslist legally, not using any of those things that blast ads that you, gotta, that you might get in trouble for. I'm just going to show you how you can honestly post up to 5 to 10 ads a day on Craigslist and not get binged guaranteed. So right now we're going to go over to the whiteboard and then I'm going to physically show you um, what you need to do. Alright, see you in a second. Okay, what I want to do is I'm going to do a quick little tutorial to show you how you can use Craigslist to just about promote anything that you're doing. I'm going to show you right here right now how you can advertise post about five to ten ads in one day's time on Craigslist. I know they only say that you can you can't post the same ad in the same 24 hours, but there's ways around this. And I'm talking about legally. I'm not talking about using any auto posters or anything like that that you may have found out there in regards to Craigslist. I'm talking about doing it legally, doing it safely, and doing it effectively. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to need two email accounts. Now you may have two email accounts that you can use right now or you may want to set up two new ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run through a quick demo and show you guys how to set up two new email accounts. What you need to do is you need to go to www.gmail.com now the reason I'm saying Gmail is for several different reasons if you look right here Gmail is always adding more space to what you can receive and send so your storage space on Gmail will never get maxed out also Gmail is one of the top rated free email accounts that you can have so and there is free to have and it unlimited storage so you can't hardly beat that so what you want to do is you want to go down here to where it says create an account right here go ahead and click on that what you want to do is you want to enter your first name last name and then what you want to do is you want to enter what you want to be your your first email address so for instance I could enter old Scott and then what you're going to do is you're going to check to see if whatever you entered is available Okay, if it's not available, it will tell you. Like it just told me Obasi, I mean, oh, Scott is not available. So it also gives you other options down here as to something else you could choose. It doesn't matter what you choose, but whatever it is, make sure you remember it. Okay, you might want to jot it down in a little notepad or something. Make sure you remember it. Also, what you're going to do is you're going to set up a password. You're going to retype that password just to confirm it also you're gonna choose what they want you to call is a security question now before you choose your security question they give you the option to either remember you on this computer so next time you come to gmail you can just log straight in also that you can have it have them enable web history so they remember like what you do inside of your gmail like if you chat with somebody you can recall different messages and things of that that sort so anyway now you want to choose your security question okay and what I normally do for accounts that I'm not going to use a lot or be logging into a lot is I write my own security question that way if I ever forget my password and I have to say forget my password and they email me the question that I wrote I'm more likely to remember it so what I want to do is make my own question and normally my question is what is my birth date what is the date I got married and and that normally what is my um, mother's name plus the last two digits of her birth date I make it I make the answer real specific so you don't have to worry about forgetting so you can just say okay I know that answer so make it real specific that's a hint hit clue clue okay the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and put in a secondary email address now this is the email that they will use to verify this account this is also the email that they will use to send any forgotten passwords to. Okay, this is also the email that they will use to back up any information that you send to this account. So it's kind of like a safe a safety gate for your email account. Okay, you want to specify whatever country or location that you are in. You also want to put in your gotcha code or your capture code 
right there and all this does right here these little numbers if you never knew what these stood for they just make sure that um, automated computer robots are not going through Gmail creating accounts just to be used for nothing so as long as you can read that just type it in and then of course G Gmail has their terms and conditions you want to go through this and then you would all you want to do is hit I accept create my account at that point your account is created but you're going to have to go to this secondary email address whatever you put in here and you're going to have to validate this email account through that address so now once you've created your first one go go ahead and go over to your other email address whether it's another gmail account or whether it's a yahoo account or an aol account go ahead and go over there and you're going to get an email from gmail letting you know that you just created a new account go in there go open that email up and validate this account then what i want you to do is i want you to come back to gmail.com and go through the same process once again and then you're going to have to validate it once again okay so make sure you knock those out and then we're going to come on and we're going to go on over to Craigslist this is where the rubber meets the road craigslist.com they are one of the most searched boards on the internet they have I want to say probably close to 500 600 million viewers I mean the stats on Craigslist is crazy if you're not advertising on Craigslist it's like not advertising on YouTube I'll do a uh, I'll do a video later to show you how to how to how to advertise on YouTube and do viral video marketing but right now I'm going to show you how to effectively ad, ad, advertise on Craigslist so you want to go to Craigslist and then you want to go to a section that says my account okay now when you get to my account um, you're probably not going to have an account and if you already do have an account then you need to create one extra one if you already have two or three that's fine you don't need to create any extra email addresses like we did in the previous step or you don't need to create any extra Craigslist account but what you're going to do is you're going to say don't have an account right down here and you're going to say click here to sign up now I know this part can be a little belaboring but you're going to have to do it okay now it's simple put your email address in put the verification word in boom you created account so those two email addresses you just created in Gmail are the two email addresses that you want to use if you didn't create two new ones you're going to use those here you're going to use the first one verification word create account next email address verification word create account so I'm just going to go back and I'm going to log in as if I just created my account okay there we go alright I'm into my account now this is this is your back office or this is your control station your dashboard okay what I want you to see here is that you have several different statuses of your post. You have an active post, which are in green, which you can see where the mines are. Um, you have pending, which is in gray. You have removed by me, that means things that you've taken down, expired, things that just have ran out, and things that have been flagged by somebody else. Now, as you can see, several of mines have been flagged. You can see some pink areas, but you can also see some green areas. A lot of mine have stayed up, some of them have been flagged, but through my flagging, I've learned how to post in this section so I've learned how to post on Craigslist so it doesn't get flagged and then anyway, and what if and what what you're gonna see is that a lot of my posts are done in intervals of 20 to 30 minutes anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes is what you wanna wait in between your post okay so let's go back to Craigslist you're gonna go back up here after you've logged in go back go back to Craigslist now you want to go over here and you don't want to choose out of US cities okay don't choose out of US cities choose a US state again choose a US state what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down let's say um, I'm gonna choose Kentucky and then I wanna go and I'm gonna choose Louisville Kentucky 
Now you may say, why did it bring me back to the Louisville screen? Because that's the state you're in. If you look up here, now you're in Louisville's Craigslist. This is all the postings that people post for Louisville locally. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to post in this jobs section right here, this jobs section.